guys, one more week together and today I would like to talk with you about a multitude of saved people. So let's just start reading our Bible text that is in Revelation 7, 9 to 10. After this, I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Hallelujah! What an amazing Bible text! You know, often the enemy would like to tell us that only a small number of people will be saved. We wrongly interpreted the passage, narrow is the way and few are those who find it. But in fact, the will of God is for all people to be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth. So we need to reject the lie that the gospel is for just a few. The truth is what the Bible says. And it says that on that day, there will be a multitude of saved ones from every tribe, people, and nation before the Lamb. But before this great and glorious day arrives, the gospel of the kingdom must be preached to them. After all, how will they believe if they don't hear? And how will they hear if there is no one to preach? Let us follow Paul's advice to Timothy in our day. Preach the word whatever you can, whether it's an opportune time or not, in season or out of season. But know that everything that does not come from faith is sin. It is not effective, at least. God's will is not for you to simply preach but that you speak the word believing that by using your mouth salvation will be reach people's hearts and thousands upon thousands will be saved. You know what? You are part of that multitude of saved souls and you will be there one day. The day of the Lord is coming. So let's move on and remember you are greatly blessed, highly favored and deeply loved.